Uh, good evening. Good evening, guys. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, great. Thanks, everybody, for joining. How are you doing? Uh, hi, Rafael. Hi, Ruben. Enrique, I believe. How are you guys? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, so that is really good to hear. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, it's really nice to meet you guys. I see Andrea is joining as well. Um, all right. So welcome to intermediate number two. Um, just guys, some general instructions. Um, hi, Andrea. Good evening. So, si me pueden ayudar con su nombre completo, guys, that would be amazing. Uh, so we can get like the full um you know a uh, record of who's here right so let me see so give me just a second here let me just change my background i think my background is all right okay guys so thanks a lot for joining uh my name is julia sarseño i will be your facilitator this module so voy a estar trabajando con ustedes durante el módulo de intermediate number two um, guys, si me pueden ayudar con su camarita, that would be super great. Uh, well, Rafael veo que tiene el nombre completo, Rubén as well. Eh, Enrique, no sé si su nombre es Kike, or is that Enrique? Si me puede ayudar, please, con su nombre completo, that would be super great. Andrea, good evening, Thank nice you. meeting you. So, uh, same thing, no sé si tiene otro, un segundo nombre, un segundo apellido. Uh, um, eh, ya lo voy a corregir ahorita. And no worries. Y si no, guys, me dicen and, uh, y acá les los guío cómo hacerlo. No sé si ya lo han hecho antes. I don't know. You have changed it before. Oh, okay. Okay. So you are not new to this. Okay. Great. Good to hear that. So en caso, guys, estén, creo que ambos están en la computadora. Eh, remember that se pueden ir a participantes. So you can go there. Y luego le damos clic en más y ahí pues escribimos el nombre completo. So thank you, Andrea. I see your full name now. All right. How are you guys? ¿Cómo están? Are you ready to get started with this module? Are you nervous? Are you bored? <laughs> so how do you feel? How do you feel so far? Are you all right? Are you good? You're fine? So, so. Surviving. How are you doing, guys? Hi, Kenya. Good evening. Helen, thank you so much for joining. Judy, hello. Imelda, thank you for joining, guys. Gracias por acompañarnos. Um, and, uh, and welcome to this module. Espero que podamos, you know, um, hacer de estas dos horas lo, lo más entretenido que podamos, lo más participativo que podamos as well. Uh, because as you may know, vamos hasta las 10 de la noche, right? Um, gracias a quienes ya me ayudaron con la camarita. Thank you so much for your cameras. Uh, no es lo mismo ver la pantalla en negro, you know, y no saber si ya se durmió o qué le pasó. Or to know that you're there and to know and to see your face, you know. Or si se está durmiendo, pues I don't know, like do something about it, right? So, igual guys, si necesitan levantarse para ir a tomar agua or get a cookie, that, that's okay. You can totally do so. Apagan la camarita un momento and that's all right, right? Solo eh, la idea es mantenerla eh, tanto tiempo como no sea posible, right? Encendida. But eh, sí les agradezco, guys, si tienen alguna dificultad con el internet, que a veces digo, claro, o otro proveedor no nos ayuda mucho. And uh, eh, si tienen problemas con, eh, eh, se les está congelando, se les está friseando or something, let me know para poder apagar la camarita, la camarita y saber que están ahí, pero que su cámara está apagada, right? Because uh, um, that's really important. So, gracias a todos. Gracias, Imelda. Thank you for your camera. That's super nice. Uh, good evening. Maria Angelica, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, Judy, Kenya, Helen, thank you. Eh, Iris, good evening. Si me ayudan con su camarita, guys, that would be super, super nice. Um, so, as I was telling these guys, um, my name is Julia Sarseño. You can call me Miss, you can call me Julie, you can call me teacher. I'm good with that. Um, the, creo que todos se conocen, right? I think everybody knows each other. O es la primera vez que están juntos, guys. Is this the first time you're together? ¿Hace cuánto eh, fue el último módulo que estuvieron? ¿O son nuevitos? ¿Are you newbies here? Sí, yo soy nuevo. 
Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. Felix. All right. Oh, okay. So, welcome, Enrique. No worries. Yeah, just se va a acoplar al, al grupo. No problem. Guys, los demás, ¿hay alguien más que sea la primera vez uh, que está acá con nosotros? ¿O eh, ya vienen desde módulo 1, desde básico? ¿O or how is that? Andrea, Rafael, ¿han estado juntos antes? Eh, Angélica, ¿you've been together mm -hmm. before? Okay, cool. Uh, Imelda, are you new? Are you new to this group? Is Nueva este grupo? No, I. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I get that was a no. <laughs> okay, no problem. That is good. So, creería entonces que Felix, no sé si tenemos alguien más. Uh, guys, good evening. Uh, alguien más es nuevo el grupo. Uh, Jose, good evening. Creo que por ahí vía Jose también. I think I saw him. Okay. Ok, guys, so, solo les, les pido que me ayuden con su camarita, please. Um, guys, me gusta mucho trabajar con la cámara. Espero que no sea invasivo para ustedes. I hope it's not um, that invasivo con respecto a la, a la privacidad. Pero el hecho que estemos aprendiendo un segundo idioma eh, es muy importante el contacto visual que podamos tener. Uh, or in this case, eh, pues es bien diferente socializar, right? Saber que alguien está allá a la par mía, que me va a ayudar, que me puede corregir. Uh, someone I need to talk, especialmente porque eh, necesitamos también ver el movimiento de los labios, uh, sometimes with pronunciation, and uh, si hay algo que corregir, you know, uh, we can see a person moving the lips y saber qué es lo que puede cambiar, qué es lo que está haciendo que el sonido no salga adecuadamente. So, sí les, les pido, guys, su, su colaboración with the camera. Um, and uh, in case, guys, eh, Iris, Arnoldo, que no les funciona, let me know. And uh, para pedir apoyo también con los compañeros eh, de soporte técnico, right? Um, so, me imagino que los demás compañeros todavía are not here. Probably they are having dinner. Okay. Um, so, guys, tell me, ¿cómo ha sido su experiencia so far? How is your experience so far? Um, right now, I'm going over English, Spanish. Spanish, so a little bit of Spanglish, because uh, first, necesito que escuchen mi, mi, um, como mi velocidad, you know, I need you to listen to my speed, um, uh, un poquito de mi pronunciación, necesito que su oído se acople, you know, to the way I speak, to the words I use, and then of course, no significa que todos los días va a ser this way, I mean, this is an exception, because normally, um, yo no soy quien hablo, sino la idea es que ustedes hablen más, right, that you participate, because um, it, it's not about me, right, sino se trata que ustedes hablen, que ustedes participan, uh, que puedan interactuar, poderlos escuchar y saber qué es lo que podemos mejorar, Right? cuáles son las áreas de oportunidad que tenemos y cómo lo podemos hacer mejor, porque la idea creo que de estar acá like, haciendo ese sacrificio de dos horas, tiene que contar por algo, guys. It has to be worth it. And uh, sobre todo creo que el objetivo, um, I don't know, I want to listen to your objective, guys. So pretty much, para quienes comenzaron en básico, tienen seis meses. You've been studying English for about six months. This is going to be kind of the seven months. No, 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 this is going to be the eighth month. So, ¿cuál es el objetivo, guys? What's your objective? What's your, um, the purpose that you got, you know? What are you going to use English for? So, um, I want to listen to you, but give me one second. Gracias, Yuri. Uh, espero que la lluvia mejore un poco and uh, para también poderla ver. <laughs> no problem. I totally get that. Tenemos un segundo. Creo que nadie más, um, no nadie ha escrito. Ok, creo que alguien más entró, but I'm not sure. De... Mauricio, good evening, Mauricio. So, thank you so much for joining. Good evening. Good evening. Alrighty, guys. So, les voy a comenzar a presentar mi pantalla. I'm going to get started here uh, presenting uh, my screen. So, we go over some generalities. Um, sé que la mayoría de ustedes no son nuevos, no es como la primera vez que estén um, acá, pero igual, you know, es importante que refresquemos un par de datos, you know, some certain information, and especialmente porque ese programa es bastante um, especial, digamos, you know, it's very special and... Uh, and, you know, el objetivo es precisamente el mismo, you know, guiarlos en el proceso. Um, so, as I said before, my name is Julia Sarsenio. I'm going to be your facilitator for intermediate number two. 
eh, me piden que presente un poquito de mi, mi experiencia en, en the part of the certifications I have. So, um, tengo una licenciatura en idioma inglés. And uh, estoy en proceso de estudiar una segunda carrera, right? And, good evening. Um, hi, good evening, Juan. Uh, thank you for joining. Great to have you. So, good evening. Good, good evening, evening, Carlos. Great to have you. Welcome, guys. Thanks. And, Thank you, um, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Great to have you, guys. Thanks. So, uh, besides that, you have there, like, part of my, my experience. I've been working in the area of el idioma inglés por más de 10 años, probably 10 or 15 years. And um, eh, tengo trabajando para Regal International o inglés corporativo, más o menos cuatro años. Been working with them uh, desde las clases presenciales, you know. And um, eh, tengo alguna experiencia en, la, en el área universitaria, too. And uh, some other English academies. So pretty much that's a little bit about me. Um, so, y ahora, guys, let me go over general things about the in support program. As I said before, ahora va a ser un poquito de Spanish. It's going to be a little bit of Spanish, eh, porque esos son datos bien importantes que necesitamos tocar. So, les pido paciencia, guys, okay? Because cuando ya comencemos a hablar inglés, va a ser, okay, tanto como podamos, right? As much as possible. Solamente un recordatorio, uh, parte del programa de in support nos pide dos cosas bien importantes. La primera es eh, que necesitamos eh, tiempo de conexión. Eso indica que todos los días nuestro tiempo de conexión es de 120 minutos, right? Desde las 8 de la noche hasta las 10 de la noche. Uh, se cuenta minuto a minuto, right? No es como voy a entrar cinco minutos y luego me voy <ríe> o me voy a dormir, right? Sino que realmente hay un conteo eh, real de Zoom donde se nos pide 120 minutos de clase diaria. And uh, eh, eso, la asistencia, necesitamos al menos 80% de asistencia. Significa que en el módulo puede, eh, puede faltar máximo un día, you know. Uh, that would be it. So one, two days, y nada más. Because el programa es bastante eh, estricto en, en cuanto a eso. Pero la verdad es que lo, que lo que obtenemos de la práctica, no por el hecho de, de conectarnos todos los días, sino por el hecho de estar participando, de estar escuchando, socializando, eh, lo que ganamos es mucho más grande, right? Now, eh, ese es uno de los detalles. So, nuestra asistencia debe ser del 80%. Y el otro punto es con respecto a las notas de la plataforma. Eh, no sé si todos ya ingresaron a su plataforma, todos tienen acceso. Eh, Félix, ya le voy a presentar la plataforma también para que la pueda revisar un poquito. O eh, me, me, si no me equivoco, en el correo les enviaron también el link de ingreso. Eh, la contraseña es la misma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a menos que usted la cambie, right? Uh, necesitamos completar el 80% y lo cual se completa todas las semanas. So, um, estos módulos de intermedio son un poquito más largos, eh, so una semana más, eh, por precisamente el contenido que tiene, right? el vuelto a la información que tenemos que eh, desarrollar y toda la práctica que necesitamos también. Now, eh, las tareas... Eh, de los temas ya cubiertos eh, son completados. Es decir, la plataforma es revisada todos los viernes a la medianoche. Así que, guys, les pido que trabajemos desde el día uno en la plataforma. No es larga, no es mucho. Y si pueden adelantar muchísimo más, se si pueden completar eh, semana uno, dos, tres, cuatro, o si quieren toda la, la plataforma en una semana, no hay ningún problema. No hay ninguna, ninguna restricción. Porque muchísimo mejor, incluso porque ya nos quedamos solamente con la práctica eh, de listening, práctica de speaking, etc. El manual, eh, los compañeros se los compartieron hace un par de minutos. El manual ya se encuentra eh, dentro del grupo de WhatsApp. Igual, si no, eh, en la plataforma usted perfectamente lo puede descargar. And you get access to that. Eh, solo como un poquito de FYI, right? Eh, ok. Now, guys, con respecto a los eh, requerimientos generales, el primero, les agradezco a todos que iniciaron, ya eh, entraron con el nombre completo, right? So, you got here your full name, la camarita encendida, right? So, todo el tiempo que se nos sea posible. Eh, it says here, minimizar el sonido. 
en el sentido que a veces tenemos como la televisión, yo sé que a veces los vecinos tienen como un gran reggaetón, you know, el, uh, las rancheras en la noche y pues no podemos hacer mucho, but si tienen um, tal vez un espacio en su casa que sea callado, you know, or uh, donde ustedes puedan sentirse un poco más cómodos durante las dos horas, pues muchísimo mejor. Si tienen niños, igual, you know, son un espacio donde ustedes se puedan sentir un poco más, más tranquilos, donde se pueden concentrar y sus babies, pues, no interrumpan mucho en la participación activa. So, sí es cierto que los 120 minutos son grabados, pero no se trata solamente de venir, right? Ah, voy a entrar a la clase y voy a escuchar. No, guys, inglés es escucho, pero participo también. Si nunca hablo, si nunca participo, no sé si lo estoy diciendo bien. No sé si entendí la pregunta. No sé si lo que me está preguntando es lo que yo entendí, you know, or the, the information I'm giving es lo que me está pidiendo. So, this uh, active participation, uh, eso sigue todos los días, you know, vamos a intentar participar todo el tiempo que sea posible. Um, precisamente porque después de acá, creo que nadie, well, ya, ya vamos a, ya voy a conocerlos un poquito. Eh, también se está en un ambiente de inglés. Eh, si hablan, si tienen jefes eh, americanos, contacto con proveedores americanos, si tienen que hacer correos o tienen que tener conversaciones, porque eso sería como una práctica extra, right? Y, y no práctica real. De lo contrario, no tenemos como un ambiente um, americano acá o un ambiente donde se hable el idioma inglés, right? Entonces, es de aprovechar ese tiempo al máximo y, uh, of course, eh, socializar con los compañeros. So, let me see what else. Okay. Eh, so, tenemos la asistencia al 100%. Les comentaba mínimo un 80%, que son dos clases, lo más que puede faltar, guys. Pero una clase perdida es una clase que ya no voy a hallar que hacer. Okay. Así que, please, intentemos no faltar eh, en la medida de lo posible. Right? A menos que realmente sea en una caso, emergencia. So we're, en, caso right. de, en caso de un inconveniente... Siempre le va a tomar asistencia a uno, si uno y avisa. Lo que sucede es que el programa eh, tiene una grabación, you know, de asistencia. Eh, y les pedimos que ingresen con su nombre completo, porque Zoom nos da diariamente un, eh, como un resumen de cuántos minutos usted estuvo conectado. And, uh, entonces, sí, you know, si realmente tiene un, algo de fuerza mayor, eh, algo súper, súper difícil, um, yo solo le voy a pedir, guys, que se conecten, you know, que nos lo hagan saber claro, conéctense y, o oh, me dicen, teacher, voy a estar como escuchando nada más, voy a estar listening el día de ahora, right? Deje el teléfono, eh, escucha y usted puede resolver la situación que tenga o si está en el trabajo, no hay ningún problema. That is totally fine. But, eh, pero claro, si lo podemos evitar, pues muchísimo mejor, right? Pero sí, eso sería como nuestra uh, forma de trabajar, digamos, de esa forma, para que no les afecte a ustedes, you know? Eh, y porque es algo que no podemos okay. controlar, right? Dígame. Okay. Eh, Ok. Yo voy a ir a la otra pierna. Ok. Este, sí, nosotros siempre hay compañeros o compañeras que en veces faltan por, porque tienen la señal mal o, o en veces a nosotros nos va el sistema y en veces perdemos ahí la comunicación, pues le decía yo, pues es, esos casos son especiales. Yes, yeah, you're totally right. Uh, definitivamente es algo que no controlamos, especialmente por cuestiones de lluvia, de electricidad, de internet. Eh, but a veces, guys, es mucho más fácil conectarse al teléfono, por ejemplo, so, eh, que de la computadora, right? O la conexión, si tenemos una muy mala conexión, les recomiendo que mejor entren desde el Zoom, descarguen Zoom, siempre ténganlo por ahí, e ingresen de Zoom, porque la conexión es mucho más fácil. Eh, Incluso pueden conectar sus datos, no les consume tanto. And, uh, sería como otra forma. Exactly. Uh, no es que vayan a estar en la cama. You're not going to be like sleeping or falling asleep. Pero es mucho más fácil tener el teléfono cerca que la computadora sometimes, right? So, también es como, um, as Mauricio said, un poco más cómodo, un poco más práctico, you know, and a little bit more convenient en caso no tengan um, electricity or in case you don't have internet. Uh, pueden conectarse con los eh, datos móviles y, you know, no le consume mucho Zoom. It's not going to take like a lot. Um, so sería como una forma que podamos eh, disminuirlo un poquito. 
Eh, con respecto a la asistencia, normalmente tomamos asistencia dos veces para que nadie se nos quede sin asistencia. Y como pueden ver acá, se nos cuenta siempre cuando alguien dice presente y con cámara encendida. Porque Insafor necesita saber que ustedes están aprovechando el programa, que ustedes están acá en, y están haciendo uso de, de este, esta beca, right? That you get. So, eh, por eso a veces les decimos como, ayúdeme con la cámara, you know. No es porque los queramos molestar or anything, but pretty much. That's the reason. And uh, um, lo siguiente que tenemos, y ya para you know, eh, terminar esta parte, es con respecto a las sesiones de uno a uno. Nuestras sesiones uno a uno son al finalizar la clase. Eh, le voy a pedir a alguien que se quede 10 minutitos. Voy a intentar no robarle más de ese tiempo. Y es para que veamos temas que les, dan, que les son difíciles o práctica extra que podamos tener. Uh, en el grupo somos 20. Y a veces quizás va a ser difícil escuchar a los 20 en las dos horas de clase. Pero, por ejemplo, le puedo decir a María Angélica, María Angélica, quédese conmigo 10 minutitos solamente. Practicamos y la puedo escuchar detenidamente 10 minutos y saber, ah, María Angélica, debemos de trabajar un poquito de simple pass o podemos trabajar un poquito más de vocabulario. Le voy a dejar tareas extra con esto. Entonces, vamos a intentar hacerlo lo más personalizado, el one on one, right? para que aprovechemos también este recurso extra que es la asesoría personalizada. And el último punto que tienen acá, el que dice permisos no disponibles. Como decía Mr. Eh, Delgado, definitivamente a veces se nos ve el internet o tenemos una emergencia, tenemos que salir, pero lastimosamente no está en nuestras manos dar permiso. You know? No le puedo decir, sí, vaya a ser Mr. Delgado. No, unfortunately, eh, Insafor no nos permite hacerlo. And, uh, pero sí, guys, si usted puede conectarse, solo me dice, tengo una situación, voy a apagar la cámara, pero estoy escuchando, estamos súper bien. So we are good, right? Uh, we can definitely do that. Pregunta, chicos. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Miss Garcia. How are you doing? Alrighty, guys. So, preguntas, dudas, All right, questions. I'm doing great. <laughs> oh, okay. Great. Great to hear that. Great to hear that. Okay, guys. No dudas, no questions. Creo que la mayoría, it's not, it's super like, um, you know, um, are used to this, right? Ya nos más o menos acostumbramos al procedimiento and, and you rock it. So, I don't think we're going to have difficulties here. So in that case, guys, let me move a little bit. Um, well, aparte de Enrique, guys, alguien más es la primera vez que está con nosotros, que está en inglés corporativo con el grupo. Tell me, good evening. Uh, Anna, good evening. Great to have you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, miss. Um, Mr. Avendaño. Ya estuvo con este grupo antes, Mr. Delgado, es la primera vez que está con nosotros, ¿no? Eh, sí, la mayor ya, parte ya. de los que veo, sí, ya estuvimos juntos. Okay, ya okay. tuvimos juntos, amado lo pasado, estuvimos. Ok, perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. So, pretty much, eh, las reglas, eh, well, no las reglas, sino like, like, the requirements, the procedures, es exactamente lo mismo, right? Eh, vamos a utilizar la cámara, vamos a utilizar chat, breakout rooms, ask for help. En la última dice respeto ante todos, que creo que no vamos a tener ninguna dificultad con eso, right? So, la idea, guys, es, es intermedio, pero cada uno va a su ritmo, right? Tal vez algunos compañeros nos cueste un poquito más, tal vez otros compañeros seamos más rápido, uh, eh, or probably hemos tenido otro tipo de experiencias y la idea es siempre ayudarnos, right? Apoyarnos, help each other. And uh, si usted se toma un minutito para explicarle al compañero algo que no entendió, Right. O una palabra que esté mal, y, pero creo que si le dice con respeto, mm, Andrea, uh, creo que se pronuncia diferente. Yo le he escuchado de esta forma. Andrea no creo que se moleste, you know. But siempre y cuando lo hagamos eh, contacto, right? So no es como, ay, no, Andrea, si no se dice. <laughs> so I think there, there are ways, right? Uh, en las que nos podemos apoyar. Imagínense que yo me equivoco en otra palabra, definitivamente voy a aceptar eh, el feedback, you know, because no estamos en un país americano, no hemos crecido con este idioma y todos estamos aprendiendo every single day. So, aprovecho, Mr. Delgado. <ríe> Dígame, Mauricio. Mauricio. No, que no, porque parezcamos gringos, decía. 
Solo tenemos la, 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 the, the features. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So, pretty much that was the Spanish part. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention now part of the things that I like to do. Guys, me gusta mucho realmente escucharlos. I really like to, uh, to listen to everybody who is in the group. Me gusta mucho la participación activa, you know. Y si Delmi, por ejemplo, no me participa ahora, mañana voy a estar ahí con Delmi. Delmi, 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 you know. Porque no es la idea incomodarla. And I'm sorry about that. Soy un poquito pushy, sino la idea es que se le quite el miedo, you know. Que se sienta mucho más cómoda. Y que usted también se presione de, uy, ahora no hablé porque me dio pena, porque no sabía del tema, porque no hallaba qué decir, pero mañana sí voy a participar. So, la idea, guys, también es que nosotros nos vayamos sintiendo más cómodos, right? Uh, que nos, se nos quite el miedo, porque es lo más difícil, right? Quitarse el miedo, uh, especialmente equivocarse, uh, de no saber si lo estoy diciendo bien, lo estoy diciendo mal, uh, o me van a corregir, or what's going on. Ok, guys, so, that's it. <laughs> uh, now, I, um, voy a comenzar a hablarles un poco despacio. I'm going to start speaking a little bit slowly. Then, a medida el módulo vaya avanzando, um, voy a hablarles a mi velocidad normal, right? So, but right now, I want you to listen to my voice, listen to the way I sound, um, listen to my intonation, my pronunciation, and then we go over certain things. Give me one second. So, the first activity, guys, that I have for you is this one. And it's a scary. Um, introduce yourself, but I don't want you to say, hello, my name is Julie. I am 20 years old. I live in San Salvador. Nice to meet you. No, guys. <laughs> I want you to introduce yourself by giving certain personal information. So it says, share something you like and something you don't like, or you can give us even more information, right? Um, so my name is Julia, but I don't like Julia. Please call me Julie or call me Miss. Um, I don't like pizza. I, uh, I really don't like any kind of pizza. I don't know why. Uh, probably because I feel sick. Um, I don't like cats. I really hate cats. Don't ask me why, but I, I'm not a cat lover. But something that I really, really like is listening to music especially rancheras. I really love rancheras, you know, and uh, um, I can listen to music all day long. So that's me. Now, can I have some of you guys and give us personal information? What is something you like? What is something you don't like? Your name is good, something you like, something you don't like, and why, right? So volunteers or victims? Do I have any volunteer? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Hi, Belen. Go ahead, please. Okay. First of all, teacher, mm -hmm. I feel like um, kind of uh, surprising. I don't know why? why you don't love cats. Why you don't love pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cat lover, so I'm kind of offended myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, um, well, my name is Belen and I don't have any other name. So okay. that's the only name that you can call me. Oh, but it's um, a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, something that I really like it. Well, like I said, I'm a cat lover. Um, um, I love the music, every, every kind of music. And I don't have any special uh, like it. Mm -hmm. um, I already uh, I'm work and I'm studying here uh, and then maybe most of the people already know each other and something that I really like it and food maybe the pizza <laughs> it's my favorite food <laughs> Okay. And, it is and, like completely opposite. Opposite, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't. I'm. I'm really. Uh, I don't know how. You. How do you say spontaneous? Uh, spontaneous. 
Spontaneous. Okay. Um, I consider myself very spontaneous, so oh. maybe that's. But that's a very nice description. Okay, so it's like I don't like things that you really like. <laughs> that's very yeah, yeah. interesting. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you, Belen. That, that's a very Thank nice um, information to get. Okay, uh, Belen, can you please select you. another person? Miss Shillen. Oh, yes, okay. I think that one is ready. So he, he opened up his microphone. Uh, <laughs> siempre, siempre trabaja en equipo. Gran compañero. Ah, okay, cool. Well, Juan, I have your microphone on. So tell us about yourself, please. Todos son grandes compañeros y de trabajar en equipo se, se trata. Algunos pueden más un poco, pero nunca es tarde. No, definitely not. This is this is the best opportunity uh, to learn. So, Mr. Delgado, ya que lo tengo here, cuéntanos de usted, please. Tell us something you like. Tell us something that you don't like. Eh, I you like I report the mentality. Okay. Yes. Ilustres San Salvador. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Te, te soy enterrador. Mm -hmm. So y you're. You are, vicios, varios. You are an <laughs> undertaker. Uh, okay. Ah, you're an undertaker. Oh, por, okay. Por allá me <laughs> So, ya conoce, entonces. That's, no, 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 Undertaker se le llama a las personas que, que tienen ese, ese empleo, you know, ese oficio. That's Undertaker. Uh -huh. no, no de la WWF, you know. <laughs> Not from <laughs> WWE, but like, that's an Undertaker. Uh -huh. Ok. So, Mr. Mr. Ya. Yeah? Dígame, dígame, teacher. I think Mauricio wanted to share it. Mauricio, go ahead, go ahead. What's that good? I'm sorry. Okay, let me... Can you say that again? Both are good. Tiene mm, Bluetooth, Mauricio? Teacher, he said both are good. Both. What do both, you mean? Uh, I the WWE? <laughs> Are you yes, talking yes, about he refers about your comment uh, about the WWE thing? <laughs> Perfect child. But, but Perfect I, child. I uh, Mauricio, just a quick question. Uh, tiene, tiene Bluetooth. Tiene audífonos de Bluetooth. Yes. yes. Lo que sucede es que la voz se escucha como con mucho uh, like Por echo. Nada. No, like, like, like super far away. Uh -huh. So me imagino que puede ser por el auricular. Uh, probably we can try with the, with the loudspeaker para que mejore. A veces eh, los de Bluetooth cuando se están descargando, you know, no se escucha, se escucha como mucho eco sometimes. But, but you can, maybe you can try the, the speaker, right? Tal vez con el, con el, um, uh, how do you say speaker in Spanish? Con la bocina, con el altavoz. <laughs> so probably yeah, yeah. That, that, that can work better. Okay. Okay. So, okay, Mr. Delgado. So you're an undertaker. What do you like? What is something you like? El iglesia. Okay. I like to go to the church. Okay. And something you don't like? Um, <laughs> nothing? You... Okay, think about it. Piénselo y nos dice después, no problem. So think about it. That is totally yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yes, that's yes. good. Uh, Imelda, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, well, my name is Imelda, and I am a cat lover, as Belen oh. said. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Um, <laughs> okay. I am a little kitty named Landon. Oh, well, all right. And I dislike, well, I like uh, music in general, but I really dislike reggaeton. Yeah. I never listen to reggaeton. Oh, okay. Not even in bad. No, but you listen to reggaeton in the no, bus. No, even in a party. Even in a party. I really dislike reggaeton. Yeah, well, I, like um, <laughs> I don't like to dance. Oh, okay. I am not a a party person. <laughs> You're not a party animal. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Um, I like uh, to draw. It's my hobby. To run. Draw. Draw. Ah, draw. Okay. draw. Okay. Yes. I like to draw. And um, I think that is. Oh. oh, that sounds really nice. Okay. I love drawing, but I, uh, I'm i terrible at it. So that sounds really nice. Okay. Thank I, you. I don't know if I am a good drawer. I oh, know, but, but that is but, amazing. That is a really good ability. Okay. Yes, I think it's a uh, hobby that, um, how do you say, desestresante? Okay. So you relieve, you relieve stress. Mm -hmm. Yes, I oh. relieve stress when I draw. I agree. So relieve stress. Okay, sounds really nice. Uh, let me go with Felix. All right. Yeah, no, let me go with, with Felix. Thank Hi. you, Melda. Hi. Okay. I really like the sports, um, especially yeah. soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Like the music, all kind of music. I don't, I don't know. When I don't like me, no, I don't know. I, you don't like music? No, I, I like the music. I don't uh, know. <laughs> you don't know what uh, you don't like? Yeah. <laughs> no, come Everything on. Likes me. Uh, like no, 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 I don't think so. Food, what about food? Garlic, mm. onion, uh, meat, I don't know. So I think you must, there is something that you don't like. Mm. It's impossible that you like everything. <laughs> think about it and you tell us later. What do you prefer, Felix or Enrique or Kike? I saw you had Kike before. Uh, Enrique. Enrique, okay. Okay, thank you. Think about it. I'll come back to you. Okay. Uh, Maria Angelica, so what about you? Good evening. Uh, my name is Maria Angelica, and I like the, my friends, and sometimes uh, call me An Angelica. Angelica, okay. Yes. Uh, I like to listen to music, all of music, but I don't like, I don't know how you say music band. Uh, Mexican. That's Mexican, Mexican music. Oh. Mexican. I hate <gasps> that music. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, I love to see movies. What's What's your favorite? My favorite movie. Um, I have a, a lot of them. <laughs> I like the genres. But, Do you like horror? Uh, Do you like yeah. romantic? Um. Action. And, and horror. Action. Horror. Wow. Yes. Horror. Okay. Okay. Yes. I love my dad teacher. Oh, ah, okay. No worries. I'm going to I'm going to read that in a second. Okay, so I got Maria Angelica. Let's go with Delmi. So Delmi, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um my name is Delmi Gomez. I am 32 years old. I have uh, one son. I like the desert, but now I am on a diet for my health. Oh, that's and so bad. I am about to get my bachelor's degree in public accounting. Um, Public affairs, like international affairs. 
¿Relaciones internacionales? No. Or, or accounting. Pública. Oh, accounting. Okay, okay. Oh, so I you're work, an accountant. I work in Nova Drugstores. Um, for us, warehouse war managers. Oh. And I love listening to music all time. Okay, sounds really nice. What is something that you don't like, Delmi? Or what do you prefer, Guadalupe or Delmi? Delmi. Okay, so what, what is something you don't like? No lo entendí. Yeah, what is something uh, that you don't like? Uh, here, so something you like and something you don't like. Um, what is something you don't like? I don't like the cut. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, the first person I listen to doesn't like cats. Okay, thank you, Delby. Mauricio, tell us about yourself, please. For me, teacher? Yes. Okay. Hey. Um, I'm calling, sorry, everybody call me uh, Mauricio, but I prefer that call me Emilio. Ah, okay, okay. When I know a new person, I say, my name is Emilio Robles. Oh, all right. Okay, um, I love the rap music and my favorite artist is I'm Salvadorian. Oh, who is he, it? Yeah. Saki. Saki. Sí, yes. Mm, I have not heard about that person. Uh, is that rock? No, it's rap. What is that? Saki is a it's a boy that Saki. that grew that grew up in La Sacamil. La Sacamil. That's rap, you said. Yes. Oh, like freestyle. No, no, it's rap, rap. Oh. Resale is another thing. I, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so he's a rapper. I, okay, yes, yes, you have reason. Oh. Um, what you, about you something have, you don't like? No, you have reason in something. The cat is a animal. <laughs> Well, they are cute, but I just don't like them. <laughs> okay, okay. So you don't like them either, don't Emilio? Them. You don't like no. them? Okay. No. Okay. So tell me, and you wish her something there. <laughs> no, I'm really sensible people. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you later why I don't like cats. But yeah, I will never, Teacher. ever have a cat. Yes. Teacher. Can we have a de debate about <laughs> on cats, cats and dogs? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Actually, I have uh, to get started every class, like a little, like a ten or fifteen minutes debate. Don't worry about it. You will have plenty of time <laughs> to defend your position on that. No, but I'm a dog lover. So uh, I, I love animals, I respect them, you know, because I really respect cats. I just don't like them. So what a girl. Yeah, we will. No worries. Let me see. I'm missing a couple of guys. Guys so far sounds really good. And uh, I'm listening to everybody's pronunciation, to vocabulary. So just bear with me a couple of minutes, please. Um, I think I haven't heard Rafael. So Rafael, let me go with you. Rafael, I live in Huachapan. Oh. Um, I like uh, computers, listening music. Okay. Um, this is place tourists. Okay. What is turistico? Okay. Um, I love the beach. Uh, I don't like uh, um, work or place heights, lugares altos. Like mountains? Ah, uh, okay. So, but you mean buildings or mountains? No, buildings. Buildings, okay. You, you don't like high buildings. Okay, okay. That sounds all right. Yeah, definitely. That sounds something... Um, 
mm, understandable, right? Okay, cool. Uh, thank you, Andrea, let me go with you. So what do you prefer? Sorry, Rafael or Antonio? Rafael. Rafael, all right. Oh, so, oh okay, okay, sounds good. Andrea, let me go with you. Yes? Teacher. Puedes decir menen, menedemo. Menen. Menedemo. Menedemo. Is that, is that your... Oh, Juan Ricardo, your Juan, Ri, Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Menem is good. <laughs> Menem is really good. Yes? Uh, can you uh, give me just five minutes, please? I have to answer a call. Oh, yeah, no problem. Go ahead. That, that's okay, all right. Andrea, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Good evening, guys. Um, I am Andrea. I love all kinds of animals, but I not cat lover. Sorry, Melda and, and Belen. I am a dog lover. I Yay! have a two dogs, a girl <laughs> and a, a boy. Oh, cool. Um, yes, I don't like, I well, I hate, People who throw, throw uh, trash in the street, mm -hmm. I hate it. I agree with that. Yeah, that's uh, so so gross. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good to hear that. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm missing Helen. I'm missing Carlos, Iris, Ruben, Kenya, Judy. But Judy ha was having problems with the internet. And Arnoldo, guys, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So, is your internet better? Can, can you listen to us? O sea, nos está quebrando todavía. Nos escucha quebrado. Ay, ahorita sí le logro escuchar bajo un poco la lluvia. Super. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear that. So, Judy, cuéntanos un poquito. Tell us about you. Something you like, something you don't like. Okay. Hi, good evening. Um, I am Judy Cuellar mm -hmm. Hernández. I live in Santa Ana. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Mm -hmm. um, I hate the cat. I like listen to music. Okay. What's your favorite <laughs> kind of music? Um, a rock and roll. Oh, super cool. Okay, okay. Sounds all right. Sounds really, really good. Um, and okay, so you don't like cats and you love rock and roll. Oh, that's not very common kind of music. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. So I thought I was the You're only welcome. person who didn't like cats, but I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> the favorite band teacher. Your favorite band? Or Judy's favorite band? What is I your like favorite band? Judy. Judy. Oh, I like band. I'm sorry, was your question like mine or Judy's? Musica 190. Oh, okay. So, Judy, what's your favorite band? Um, <laughs> uh, variada, variada. Yeah, because. O sea, casi toda. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds all right. And, and rock and roll is not very common. So sounds good. Okay. Uh, okay. Mr. Menem said also 80s and 90s. Yeah. In English, that's the best. Um, guys, what about the rest? Oh, I see Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Uh, Carlos, Iris, anybody else is here? Kenya, Ruben, Arnaldo? Are you here, guys? Yes. Mr. Arendaño, tell us about yourself. Hi. Hi. Uh... Carlos Arendaño, I'm 53 years old. I work as a salesman in drug in drugstore Nova. Oh, okay. Uh, we are partners with Delmi. Yeah, I was like somebody <laughs> else is for Nova. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, we work together. And well, I like everything in my no. life. Uh, oh, yes. yeah, probably I in enjoy, your life. I enjoy everything. Probably uh, in your work. life. I drive every day many miles oh. because I, I visit the paracentral zona and I like uh, the, the personal relation with my clients, with the people. I get so many friends. 
Wow. Then, there must be something probably not about you, not about your life, not about your family, but something that you say, oh, I don't like that. Probably food, probably drinks, probably music, probably movies. Is there anything that you say, I don't like that? I like every kind of music. Uh, wow. I got a, a, a platform, uh, Spotify. And okay. I got uh, uh, almost uh, 20,000. No, 20,000 songs? Songs and there are oh. everything, uh, uh, soul, uh, everything, everything, rancheras, uh, everything and like like every every kind of music when when my friends came with me in my car they say what about that playlist because <laughs> <laughs> there are crazy playlist. many music sounding and that's what i like i get that are you into reggaeton yes yeah, some some of them wow okay no guys that's, Not everyone. A, that's yeah. unbelievable uh, let there me think are about there are gracious. many many trash music of that kind, but I like some of them. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, teacher. Uh, reggaeton. Yeah, you don't like reggaeton? Oh. Yeah, but, I know. But, but Mr. Avendano said that he likes everything. I find it hard to believe. <laughs> what do you See, prefer? Do you prefer Carlos? Do you prefer Mario or Avendano? Um, well, uh, some people call me Carlos, some people call me Mario, oh. uh, and some of my friends, Carlos Mario. Is... <laughs> but you're good, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Como buen salvadoreño, a gusto el cliente. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, but that sounds good. Uh, well, Carlos, your voice sounds super uh, energetic. Your voice sounds super upbeat. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so cool. Cool <laughs> to hear that. All right. Uh, well, nice to hear that. Let me see. Uh, Anna? Some people say that, I, that my voice is a little young of, uh, because of about my age. I think it's a matter of personality because you look like a very uh, sociable person. You sound like a very sociable person, an energetic person. So yes. I think that your voice, you know, compensates that okay? or, or <laughs> relates to that. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Good to hear that. Um, I think the, the rest of the guys are not here. Iris, are you here? Probably not. Ruben? No. Hello, teacher. There you go. Okay. Hi, Ruben. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. I'm very tired. Uh, are you working? Are you at work? Yes, I'm working. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. But what time do you finish? What time do you finish working today? Yeah, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Oh, oh, but what I said, you know. <laughs> seven more yeah. minutes. Just seven more minutes and you're done. Yes. So hold it. Okay, no worries. Uh, I totally get that. So hopefully tomorrow we can see you. You know, we can see your face. And, and meet you as well. But thank you for being here. So, gracias por, por unirse, you know, and y estarnos escuchando as well. I hope uh, el resto de su, de su jornada goes well. Your seven minutes. <laughs> you got to finish the shift. Okay. Good to hear that. Thanks, uh, thank you. Arnaldo, are you here? Arnaldo, porque es correjo. Su apellido me suena conocido. I don't know why. Arnaldo, are you around? Thank you. There you go. Hi, how are you doing? Well, fine. My name is Jose. Okay. Uh, work at Guys. I like to read and listen to music. Okay. And uh, I don't like corridos ni perreos. <laughs> Okay, so you're not into reggaeton or banda music. Okay, got that. Uh, are you are you currently working? Are you working right now? No, no. Are you at home? No, no. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm asking you this because eh, también es importante saber, guys, eh, quienes tienen turnos de noche, por ejemplo, or quienes están en el trabajo aún, and who are at the office, like Ruben, for example, you know, and uh, in 
you know, that that's very important as well. Um, creo que me falta alguien. I think I'm missing somebody. Kenya and Iris, ¿están por acá, Yeah, Helen, are you around? Anna, are you here? Hi, Kenya, good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> um, so, so. Oh, why? It's Monday, Miss. Come on. Okay. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us something you like, something you don't like, please. Oh, well, first, are you a cat lover? No, I yeah. hate <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Yes, but I love the plants. Okay. I really love it. Take care about the garden. Oh, nice. Um, yes. And I like the numbers because I work in audit. Oh, are you like an yes. accounting accounting audit? I, I, I review the accountants. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, I have to check if they are doing all well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right now I am working. That is why I don't pay my income. Oh, are you at, at the office right now? No, right now I am at home. Oh, going I, home office. I do home office. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow, that's really bad. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for turning on your camera. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully uh, tomorrow nice you don't to have to you. work. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Iris, hello. Good evening. How are I'm you? Sorry, my no internet worries. is in this moment. But I am uh, Iris. I am really enjoy exercising oh. because it de stresses me. Okay. I like to spend time with my family. My favorite food is self food, and I don't like to eat fast food. No. I enjoy no. getting to know new place. Oh, okay. Sounds really good. So you're not into pizza, hamburgers, uh, pupusas, anything that is fatty? No, pizza. <laughs> wow. How can you survive? <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> no, that is, that is nice. I really admire you because it's so difficult. You have pupusas every day, you know, everywhere. So cool. That's really good to hear. Thank you. Uh, I, yeah, pupusas are everywhere, you I know. Love pupusas. I think Pre everybody, right? <laughs> no. Bolo it's too Olo much. Cuelta, mejor de Olo my family cuelta. is from Olofuelta, <laughs> you know, so yeah, my mom can make really nice pupusas. Uh, I am just missing Anna. Anna, are you here? Anna Maya? Yes, teacher. Please. There you go. Hi, miss. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. How are you doing? Are you at work? Yes. Uh, oh. Only problem with the rain. Oh, okay. Is the rain a little? I don't know. Uh, yes. How reduced, diminished, a little bit. Yes, Tell us. Teacher. Okay, good to hear that. So, what do you prefer, Anna or Mercedes? No problem. Both are okay. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So, Miss, what is something you like or something you don't like? Uh, yeah, tell us uh, something you like or something you don't like. So something you like and something you don't like. Algo que le gusta, Miss, y algo que no le gusta. Uh, I like music. Okay. You see it electronic. Oh, all right. What about something you don't like? Demas eh, esperar demasiado tiempo para las colas grandes. Ah, okay. So you don't like waiting. Okay. You don't like waiting. Like in a bank, like in the Dewey centers, right? Like in a restaurant. You don't like waiting in a queue. All right. That, that sounds, you know, like everybody, right? We don't like. Uh, waiting a lot of time. All right. Thank you, Miss. Thanks a lot for that. 
All right, guys. Solamente I couldn't listen to Helen, I think, but I listened to the rest of you. Okay, guys. Very good job. So um, I really needed to listen to your pronunciation. Necesitaba escuchar, you know, el vocabulario que tenemos, the way we talk, the way we speak, because me da una idea de qué es lo que vamos a abordar, right? Qué es lo que nos cuesta, qué es lo que es un poco más fácil, you know, cómo está nuestro listening, cómo está nuestro vocabulary, nuestra grammar, and everything. Guys, from this moment on, tell me, eh, ¿qué sienten más difícil? What do you feel more difficult? Listening, entender que me están preguntando, que me están diciendo, o en, empezar a, a hablar y a decir las ideas. What is more difficult for you? Because remember that the intermedio para avanzado, guys, debemos de dar un saltito, right? Y empezar um, a, a, a tener una conversación. No importa si nuestro vocabulario es pequeñito, pero sin intentar eh, contestarle de alguna manera a alguien. So, ¿qué les cuesta más? Grammar, reading, writing, listening, pronunciation, or speaking? Speaking. For me, grammar, teacher. Speaking. Okay, grammar. Vocabulary. 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 Guys, y listening. Speaking. 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 Wow, me llama. Wow, yes. me llama la atención que yes. I didn't listen to it. Listening a lot. Listen, listen for me is important. Because uh, um, okay. it's difficult to uh, comprehend. Exactly. Yes. All right. Okay, guys, uh, I'm asking you this because obviamente para algunos va a ser listening, para otros va a ser speaking, para otros grammar, para otros vocabulary. Todos desarrollamos y aprendemos inglés de forma bien diferente, right? So, la si les pido... Pasada, la teacher pasada nos dejaba unos videos para repaso y sería bien que te retomara eso usted también, porque um, nos, nos yeah, ayuda actually, en el aprendizaje. Actually, eh, de hecho, me gusta abordar todas las diferentes habilidades que tenemos dificultades. So, guys, sí les voy a dejar que se graben mucho. Les voy a dejar que se graben audios leyendo conversaciones, you know, eh, que mandemos vocabulario porque necesitamos también eso. Les voy a enviar también audios que ustedes los transcriban para que vayamos desarrollando nuestro listening. Uh, I'm going to send you, no me gusta trabajar mucho con videos, Porque la verdad, eh, videos si solo son en inglés, solo los escucho y ahí murió. Yo no, no hago nada con él. No sé si lo entendí o no lo entendí, pero sí me gusta que se escuche. Eh, no sé si ya grabaron audios. Especialmente nuestra voz cambia bastante. Nunca he grabado audios en inglés. Okay. En la clase, no. Working. What's up, audio? But in English. Working. Watches, but I die. Um, the five, the in the six, five and six, you did it. Okay, okay, cool. Actually, yeah, eh, grabar audios nos ayuda muchísimo porque usted eh, lo que hacemos es si no los me le grabo, me escucho y si no me entendí, lo vuelvo a hacer y lo vuelvo a hacer y lo vuelvo a hacer, you know. So, hasta que el momento. Mi pronunciación mejora, ¿ya? Mi listening mejora porque me estoy escuchando, me estoy corrigiendo. Mi vocabulario mejora. And my pronunciation va a mejorar muchísimo más. So, vamos gotcha. a, um, vamos a, uh, gotcha. a empezar a utilizar la like, audio salada. Dígame, Mr. Uh, Menem. Menem. <laughs> Menedem. Menedem. Tell me. Este, eh, uh, ¿cómo se llama cuando...? Me pongo yo ahí a, a repasar, va, saco un instructivo de 300 palabras en inglés, va, pero a veces no le queda uno. Ya, yeah, exacto, exacto. Alguna. That is, ese es un muy buen punto. Eh, and the, y por eso es que yo vengo y les pregunto qué es lo más difícil para ustedes. Because todos vamos a un ritmo bien diferente. And guys, ¿cómo se aprenden las cosas más rápido? ¿Cómo se memorizan cosas más rápido? escuchándolas y repitiéndolas, leyéndolas, o viendo dibujitos, o viendo videos, o escribiéndolas. ¿Qué les funciona? What works for you? Escribiendo. Escribiendo, ok. Yes. Teacher, um, well, this is an idea that I uh, took in the, in the last module. Module? How do you say module? Module. Module. Okay. Mm -hmm. Module. Ok. Um, I, I like to read, 
So <laughs> I read the uh, English books. Something that I already know. Yes. Uh, for example, some uh, uh, book that I really liked it, it's uh, Alice Wonder. Uh, one Alice in Wonderland. Well, Alice in Wonderland. So, the story. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's something very easy. Yes, it's like a British English. Uh, yeah, it kind of. But it's uh, a book that I already know. So if you already know something, it's kind of easier that you can translate it in your mind and you can read it in English and you already know what it's about. So it's, it's like, uh, for example, if you already know the Principito, you can try to learn in English because you already know about the book. It's maybe it's something that I, uh, worked for me. Uh, even the music too. If you already uh, like the music, you can try to don't 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 try to make the subtitles. How do you say subtitles? The lyrics. That would be the lyrics, the lyrics. or subtitles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe another uh, translate. Uh, if the music, if the song was in English, you can try to sing it in English. It's something that that's kind of stuff that it helped me a lot. That's really nice to hear. And thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, guys, definitely. Uh, van a encontrar, por ejemplo, si ustedes son el tipo de personas que necesitan un dibujo para recordarse de la palabra. Eh, les va a funcionar eh, tal vez ver dibujos, you know, imágenes o diccionarios de imágenes. That's going to work a lot. But si solamente intentamos aprendernos una lista de mil verbos, va a ser bien difícil porque no los tenemos en contexto. Entonces no voy a recordar ni uno ni los mil, you know. So encontremos una forma, encontremos, pensemos primero, ¿cómo me recuerdo más, you know? Cuando lo escribo, uh, cuando lo veo o cuando lo escucho. ¿Cómo me recuerdo de las cosas más fáciles? E intentemos practicarlo de esa forma para que, number one, si usted tiene que estudiar, no se mate dos, tres horas estudiando, sino que eh, busque esa forma y en cinco minutos ya se recordó de todo, you know? Uh, I'm learning, estoy aprendiendo ahorita francés y estoy exactamente en esa situación, you know? Like, ok, ¿cómo aprendo? What is the best way? Y encontré que lo mejor para mí es escribirlo. So, con la pronunciación, escribo así como lo escucho, you know. So, let's, little by little, vamos a, a empezar a trabajar that way. Sí, vamos a grabar mucho audio, right? Uh, for vocabulary, for pronunciation, and for grammar. And guys, we are going to get started with today's class. Um, si voy muy rápido, porque a veces me emociono hablando, you know, and y comienzo a hablar súper rápido. Please tell me, okay? Like, teacher, can you slow? Teacher, you're going too fast. Or teacher, I don't understand, and I'm good. I'm going to um, reduce my speed, right? So let's get started, guys. Uh, today, we are going to review just general questions, some vocabulary. Uh, we are going to go over present perfect and experiences, and we are going to talk a lot. So the first activity I have is the following. This is a vocabulary review. Please, everybody, open your notebook. Get a piece of paper, um, open your Word document or block note. So lo que tengan el teléfono, you know, your phone, un bloc de notas, a word, um, a piece of paper, something to write on. So whatever you have, that, that is cool. That is all right. And the exercise is super easy. Vamos primero a activar nuestro cerebro. We're going to activate our brain a little bit. Uh, vamos a ver qué tanto recordamos. We're going to like check how much uh, we remember, you know, from these things. And guys, les voy a pedir que me regalen confirmación de las de que están listos, you know, because eh, de esta forma es bien difícil saber si están listos, si necesitan más tiempo or something. So tell me like, ready, I'm good, uh, I'm okay, para saber que ya todos están sure. listos. Let me know. Teacher, my, yes. my webcam is in file this moment. Eso está viendo. Uh, turn it off. It's okay. Turn it off. No worries. Sí, de hecho, creo que it's kind of. Ready, teacher. It's going crazy. <laughs> okay. It's going crazy. Yeah. Guys, are you ready? ready teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Is everybody I'm ready? Ready, teacher. Thank you. Ready, guys? Ready. ready. Right. Ready to show. Amazing, amazing. Okay, very good. So the exercise is super easy, but 
it is very fast as well. So what are we going to do? In your notebook, in your piece of paper, les voy a compartir mi presentación and van a tener un minuto. You have exactly one minute to do or to write, better say, lo que está in this presentation. For example, imagínense que les digo, name 10 countries. Tienen un minuto, you have a minute para escribir en el cuaderno 10 países. So you have only one minute to write them, lo más fácil, lo más rápido que puedan, the fast as you can. Uh, but of course, guys, no Spanish, okay? So full English, no diccionario, no translator, porque la idea es solo recordarse. Si no lo logren los 10, eh, los 10 palabras, no hay problema, it's okay. Solo es para recordarnos a little bit. So, ready everybody? Ya la van a ver. You will see here. And then, really? van a tener un minuto. You'll have one minute to do so. Let's start. Number one. Name 10 types of footwear. En su cuaderno, guys. On your notebook, on your piece of paper, escriban 10 palabras de nombres de zapatos. Right? For women, for men. La que se ponen todos los días. Las que van a trabajar. 10. Eh, no dictionaries, remember, no Google, no dictionaries, no translator, lo que se recuerden, whatever you remember. Both. When you say names, is marks? Eh, no, 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 no brands, sino por ejemplo, how do you say sandalias? How do you say zapato alto? How do you say ginas? You know, so los nombres. Oh, you, lo que, exactly, okay, what we put in our feet. Son 10, guys. 10, todos los que puedan, right? As many as you can. Go, go, go. This is like bachillerato stop picture. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. But it's in categories. So it's called category game. Guys, you got 15 minutes. 15 seconds, sorry. 15 seconds. Ten. Five. Three, two, one, and time's over. Okay, guys, time's over. What do you have? So, las que tengan, si tienen una, it's okay. If you have two, it's okay. That's totally fine. So, what do you have? Footwear. Sneakers, teacher. Sneakers, okay. High heels. High heels, yes. High heels. Sandals. Sneakers, high heels. Sandals. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Sandals. Boots. Sandals. Boots. Sería una brand. Ajá, esa sería la marca. That would be the work brand. Work, work, brand. work shoots or work boots. Mm -hmm. Platforms. Platform. Okay. Flip flop. Flip flops. Very nice. Exactly. Flip flops. Okay. I think I think that is a very good list. Okay. Very nice, guys. Um, so, vamos con la siguiente. Let's go ahead with the second one. Again, solo es un minuto. Es lo más rápido que podamos, right? So, the fastest uh, we can hear. So, let's go with number two. Name 10 means of transportation. Means of transportation son formas como se pueden mover de un lugar a otro, right? Los medios de transporte. Means of transportation. One minute, go. Algo que corresponde entre mí, ¿eh? Means of transportation. Uber. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. <laughs> actually, Uch. yeah. Pero no les de copia. <laughs> ah, pues nada. No, that's okay. 20 seconds, guys. Five. Three, two, one. Time's over. Okay, guys, so what do you have as mean of transportation? So we got Uber, yes. What else? Train. Train. Motorcycle. Train. Train. Motorcycle. Buses. Buses. Boat. Metro. Boat. 
Metro or bus? Subway. Subway. Taxi. Subway. Plane. Plane. Yep. Truck. Truck. In yeah. our country, <laughs> there are many trucks. <laughs> okay, trucks. Anything else? Bicycle. Bicycle. Yeah. What is it? Car. Horses. Probably not in El Salvador anymore. Helicopter. But, uh, yes, a helicopter or a chopper. Um, anything else? Those are the most the most common, right? Ferry, train, microbus. Yes, yes, we got Pit. it. Pet. Yeah. Can you say that again? Nice. Or, or can you write it? Can you can you type it in the chat? Can can you type it in the chat, please? Where the hell are in the chat? I'm not sure. I get the word. Type it in the chat, please. Okay, guys. Airplane. Oh, airplane. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys. Let's go with one more. Okay, so the next one. Let me see. Oh, ship. Yes. Airport ship. Oh, yes, a van. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Uh, remember, it's only one minute, right? So name 10 vegetables. Okay, guys, so 10 vegetables, go, one minute. No dictionary, guys. No use el diccionario, please. Don't just dictionary, not translator. Solo los que se recuerden. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Time's over, guys. Okay, so time's over. So, which vegetables do you have? Tomato. Avocado. <laughs> okay, okay. Avocado no, is not a vegetable. I think an avocado is a fruit. And I think exactly. a tomato is a fruit too. <laughs> yeah, so tomato and avocado are fruits. Potato, onions. Cucumber, onions. Cucumber. Potato. Garlic. Eggplant. Eggplant. Celery. Celery. Mm, I Let think it. I think Go celery in. sería dentro de las hierbas, you know. I think that would be kind of herbs. Celery, yes. No, no, no. Celery. Uh huh. Uh, what was that? Lettuce. Yes. Lettuce is. What else? Ready. Potato. Yeah. Potato. Yes. Carrots. Cucumber. Carrots. Carrots. Cucumbers. Yes. Anything else? Corn. Oh, it's so easy, right? Corn, okay. What else? Cauliflower, broccoli. Um, what else? Very interesting, guys. How do you say uh how do you say whiskey or um <laughs> pipian? How would you call those? Uh, carrot. <laughs> carrot. Pumpkin. Carrot. Oh, pea. Okay, carrot. so pea. Uh so Pipian, normally we call it a squash. So I don't like squashes. Okay, so that is squash. And uh, with kale, we call it chayori. So those are some Salvadorian uh, vegetables, right? So squash and chayori. Do you like squashes or chayoris? Or just squash. <laughs> Squashes with cream and cheese. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love um, squashes and uh -huh. I like. I will say ayote. Ay oh, ayote is different. Ayote is called pumpkin. Pumpkin. 
la that famosa calabaza. Pumpkin como la calabaza. Pumpkin. Exactly. So that is pumpkin. Claro que nuestros, nuestros tipos de pumpkin son diferentes, right? A los americanos. So the color. Wish kill. Wish kill. This is chayote. That would be chayote. You know, in chayote. El Salvador or Latin America, tenemos muchas frutas y verduras that we don't have. Carrots that we don't Tanaori. have in the U.S., right? Like cuchampeles. Have you ever heard of cuchampeles? Have you ever yeah. eaten a cuchampel? No. <laughs> oh, that is super delicious, guys. But, uh -huh, so, no hay traducción para eso. Oh, yes, lemon and salt. That's a really good thing. Okay, very nice list. Tenemos solo dos más. We got only two more, so let's go for it. Un minuto más, guys. Let's go with the next one. Uh, name 10 animals that live in the sea or 10 mm. animals that live in the ocean. And go. That. In the, in the ocean, the los que nadan, the ones that swim, mm -hmm. right? The ones that live in the ocean. Guys, eh, no dictionary, please. So no translator, no dictionary. Los que recuerden, whatever you remember, that's okay. Whatever you remember, that's good. Tiburón. Tiburón. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. Three, two. One time's over. Okay, guys. So, what animals do you have that live in the Dolphins. ocean? Dolphins. Shark. Jellyfish. Oh, yes. Crabs. 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 Yeah. Jellyfish. Whales. Okay. Oyster. Oysters. Octopus. Shark. Okay. Sharks. Sharks. Yeah. Like oh, tornado. Yes. What was Octopus. that, Carlos? Octopus, yes. Orcas. Orcas, orcas. I think they are orcs. I think. Okay. Orcs. Whales. Lobsters. Lobsters. Yes. Tortoise. 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 Yes. Tortoise. Horse. Fish. Crocodile. Co yeah. Crocodile. Fish. Orcas. Fish. Yeah. Anything else? Killer whale. Oh no. Orcas are called killer whales. Oh. The well. Lobster. Orcas Lay fish. Are Lay called fish. killer. Lobster. Plankton. Plankton? But I believe plankton is food, right? That's not an animal. That's the thing. I'm not That's sure. Well, I but understand that they are an uh, microorganisms. It's an animal. Yeah, is see. that an animal? Okay, okay. Well, okay. I, I didn't know. Uh -huh. Micro well, probably, right? Well, sabía que era como una plantita. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, but, but you may be right. I'm going to investigate about it. Seahorse, Rafael has in the chat. Okay, yeah, that's right. So seahorses too. Uh, tuna, okay. Yeah, sounds all right. Like all these animals from SpongeBob, the Bob Esponja, se alguna vez lo han visto, right? So you got octopus, you got crabs, you got seahorses. Okay, that sounds all right. And guys, calamaro. vamos. Calamaro. Vamos calamaro. 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 Oh, a squid. Yes, that is a squid. Squid. Yeah, squid. Yeah. That's a squid. All right. Okay, guys, yeah. vamos con la última. Let's go with the last one. And this is a little bit different. Name 10 Salvadorian brands. Una brand, guys, es una marca. Ahora sí, brand, marca salvadoreña. So, you got one minute. Go. Las my, que my. son salvadoreñas, the ones that you know that are Salvadorian. Mike, Mike. Okay. No les de copia. Brands about, about what? 
Any type okay. of brand, yeah. any brand, restaurant, Lido. shoes, yes, <laughs> anything. But Salvadorian, right? Like a Salvadorian company. Salvadorian company. Salvadoreña La Cascada. Time is over. <laughs> okay, guys, time is over. So what are some Salvadorian brands that you are familiar with? What are some brands that you know are Salvadorian? Salvacola. Salvacola. Big, uh, is Cerito. that Salvadorian? Yes. Oh. Cola Champagne. Cola Champagne, okay. Cerito. Cerito. Big what Cola. Is, big Cola, that what was, is? What that was the go? first car. Salvacola. Uh, Salvacola Cola Champagne. Cerito. 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 Cola Fernando no, York. Pollo, Fernando. Oh, Fernando York. Yes. Campestra. Okay. Cerito was the first pampa ever made in El Salvador. Via Pizza. Mm, made in El Salvador. Okay. Wow, Cherito. Via Pizza. But that is not Cherokee, right? No, 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 no. It, that is uh, from the United States. Cherito was made in El Salvador. I'm going to investigate about that. Okay, cool. Good to know. Anything else, guys, that you know that is Salvadorian? La Tecleña. La Tecleña, yeah, okay. Grapet. La Ros El Rosario. El Rosario, yeah, right. Most of those uh, bakeries are Salvadorian. Uh, Mauricio, well, I'm sorry. Grapet. No, Grapet. Grapet. Uh, it was a... Uh, 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 soda, Marco yeah, Soda babe. from San Miguel. Yes. Oh, did you ever drink it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there are many flavors about it. Chicken, Cuba, fresa, piña. In the in los setentas. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that, that's why. <laughs> I, I am familiar with Bicola. Uh -huh. I, I never heard Grafet. Okay. So, uh -huh. Mr. Uh, Campestre, Mr. Nemedemo. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out your name. Okay. Yeah, right. So, we do have a couple of Salvadorian companies. Thank you, guys. That Kais, is really nice. Guys. Guys. Oh, yes. Guys. Guys. In. Is that this guy Salvadorian? I think they are not. She, I think guys, 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 and the other one, if I'm not mistaken, oh, es que, son como multinacionales, I think. No, well, maybe no. we can investigate a little bit. Ahora son internacionales, pero era Caes, compañero yeah. de alumbrado eléctrico de San yeah. Salvador. Sí. José says that Caes is Salvadoreña. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I heard it. They are not Salvadorian Anda. anymore. And, uh, Tigo, El Salvador. No, but Tigo no, it's not Salvador. Tigo no, no, no. <laughs> is not Salvador. Okay, sounds really good. Okay, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some questions that I have brought to you so we can discuss. And uh, vamos a revisar un poquito de past uh, perfect, right? Un poquito de experiencias. Um, same thing. I just want to listen to how you're doing, how you try to communicate, how you describe some experiences para ver de qué manera abordamos y, you know, le damos un poquito más de, de, um, de ayuda para que hablemos más, you know, so we can demos ese saltito de calidad that we need. So, uh, part of the questions that I have today are the following. The first one says, have you ever ridden an animal? Then we have, where have you traveled? Um, not necessarily other countries. It could be in El Salvador. Where have you traveled? Have you been to La Unión? Have you been to Santa Ana? Or have you been to other countries, right? What sports have you played? Soccer, baseball, volleyball, tennis, uh, swimming. What have you played? Where is the best place I you have you. ever been? 
Guys. Uh, Raya and Anim. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you can Chala, think about Chalatenango. The... Chalatenango. In Chalatenango. Reinado. Ok, but, exactly, esa respuesta ya no la va a compartir, but in English. So you have to try to say everything in English. Now, where is the best place you have ever been, right? ¿Cuál es el mejor lugar donde han estado? Probably a restaurant, probablemente un lugar turístico, probably a hotel, Planet. I don't know. So, Planet. but, Prendero. pero ¿por qué? Why? So you have to give us a little Ambiente. bit of an answer. Parque, apiente y mirador y pupusa. Ok, <laughs> y ahora en inglés. <laughs> no en inglés. <laughs> El miro, miro, how post. Eh, pupusa se dice. Pupusa, no, they don't change. Pupusa, no en I train. Ok, and then the last one, ya necesitamos una respuesta un poquito más elaborada, right? Because a little bit more information, because it says, What is the craziest thing you have ever done? ¿Qué es lo más loco que han hecho? Of course, algo que nos puedan contar, right? Something that you want to share with the rest of the class. Something that you say, oh, I don't know. I got my motorcycle and I went to Guatemala in a motorcycle. And I don't know, something like that, right? Something that you can share with us. Guys, vamos a practicar estas en grupos. Please, tome la captura, take a screenshot, take a picture of this para que la tengan, so you can have it um, at hand and we can discuss them. Obviamente algunas palabras las vamos a necesitar. Eh, bien importante, guys, les voy a pedir que tengan siempre a la mano, si son como de la vieja escuela como yo, que tienen un cuadernito, una página a la mano, siempre tengan algo a la mano donde escribir. And, uh, si necesitan una palabra, tengan el diccionario abierto, tengan el traductor abierto, busquen la palabra solamente. No toda la oración, no todo el párrafo. Ah, lo escribo en español y lo digo en inglés, no, right? Sino una palabra, escríbanla para ver si de esa forma se, se recuerda más rápido. Y así identificar de qué forma vamos a estudiar para que no sea algo aburrido, you know, o no les tome dos horas entender algo, o something like that. So. Let's go ahead, guys, and practice. Please, intentemos decir todo lo que podamos en inglés. Si hay una palabra que no sabemos cómo decirla, pueden decirla en Spanish. Uh, intentemos, compañeros, ayudarle. O si saben la palabra, say that in English. What pero tampoco es como todo en español, player. right? Try not to say everything in Spanish. Have you ever run in anime? Yeah. Okay, guys, antes que se vayan, denme un segundo. Antes que se vayan, solamente repitan conmigo, please. Have you ever ridden an animal? So, open your microphone and repeat with me, please. Have you ever ridden an animal? Have you ever ridden an animal? Have you ever ridden an animal? Have you ever traveled? Have you ever traveled? What sports have you played? What the sport have you played? Where is the best place you have ever been? Where is the best place you have ever been? What is the craziest thing you have ever done? What's the craziest things you have ever done? There you go. Entienden las preguntas? Logran comprender cuál es la pregunta? ¿Qué es lo que queremos saber? Yes. Yes, all of them. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, como algunos no nos, pudi no nos pudimos ir, también eso nos va a ayudar para identificar si no logro darle click al entrar, donde me voy, right? No pude darle click, so I'll make it donde me voy. Easy. Si están en la computadora, donde aparece más en el menú de abajo, les va a aparecer sala de grupos pequeños. Le damos click y le damos aceptar y eso es todo. Si están en el teléfono, en la parte derecha, Perdón, en la parte izquierda superior les va a aparecer un cuadrito. Solo le da clic y eso es todo. Los va a llevar de redes. Así que no hay problema, you know. Okay. Uh, so, let's give it a try. Intentemos entrar, please. Let's give it a try, guys. Si están en la computadora, vayan al menú de abajo, go to the menu below y buscan grupo reducido. O break a room, si lo tienen en inglés. It's going to be like break a ground, grupo reducido, and there we go. Uh, Andrea, ¿logra entrar? ¿Logra verlo? Ahí es. 
Kenny, Mercedes, can you see that? Belen, Ruben? Ahí nos quedamos porque estuvimos repitiendo, nada más. Sí. Uh -huh. Vaya, ya pusimos la primera, va a darme hoy. La segunda. La U. La U. How were you guys ranging in animal? Ya, ya pusimos. To where did you travel? To travel. Where have you traveled? Traveling. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿A dónde ha viajado? A Guatemala, Centroamérica. Wilimpa, ¿qué estás haciendo, Wilimpa? Chat. Ten, ten, ten years old. Uh, I month sports. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, I never ride an, an animal. In a horse? Never. Oh. Guys, uh, just a quick question. No les deja compartir. Not no. to tell. Okay, intenten ahora, please. Give it a try. Because mm, I think to work for me to share a screen. Ahora sí, a ver. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it was only the settings. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay, question number two. Where have you traveled? Um, I traveled to New York. Oh. You have a visa? No sé si se dice. Yes, a tourist visa. Oh. I have you travel Antigua, Guatemala? Helen, you, you visit uh, Aurora so, so? Uh, No, no. Uh. <laughs> I travel uh, visit uh, Antigua Guatemala, uh, the beach of Salvador. Atacuba o ¿Cómo se dice municipio? O la plaza. Eso sería downtown. Teacher, and your microphone is mute. 
and I was just speaking and speaking. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, no me, no me quiere aceptar el inter. Okay, um, so yeah, la palabra municipio en realidad no existe. That doesn't really, you know, exist. But you can simply say the place or you can use the word department. That is more general. Um, so okay. puede usar la palabra county. Pero aún así no es como muy, uh, muy común. So, yeah. The poor man or I went to Tacuba. That is a place. I went to Chalate. That is um, a department. Or I went to the city, right? So, yeah, you can use those words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And for example, for you, Levi, where have you traveled? Me? Yes, for you. Uh, I have traveled in Santa Ana or Los Naranjos. No sé cómo se dice. <laughs> Los Naranjos, the place I that, that, that no, don't change. Sorry? The place I guess that don't change. Uh, yes, that is correct. So the names of the places, they don't change. Okay, thank you. They, they're in, you know, naranjos. You can eat quesadillas, delicious. In los naranjos. Yes, miss. Oh. The coffee, the coffee. The coffee, yeah. For the, for the uh, clima? Weather. 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 Yes. For the weather. Oh. It's very fantastic. So chocolate, coffee, yes. hot drinks. Oh, sounds good. In quesadilla, yeah. they said. Yes, but for that is better a paneca. I prefer that. A paneca. Oh. I like huayua. <laughs> so, because you can eat in the market, right? But a paneca is too cheaper. Yes. Oh. Is that beautiful? That's correct. It, it, yes. yes. It's beautiful in the weather in the afternoon, like uh, three or four. It's, uh, I don't know how to say niebla. Oh, fall. Mar there is, is fall. Yes. Wow. It's more in the, in the night. Oh, I have never slept in a paneca. Only I have gone to Laguna Verde. So I have gone to the lagoon, to the town. Uh -huh. Wow, sounds good. Guys, does anybody live in a paneca? Do you live in a paneca? I have a family in Ataco. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Yes, I have traveled so many times in uh all but it's places. really to entry in a taco. How yes. often? How often do you go to a taco? Uh, since I have a memory. <laughs> but like how often? Once a year, every month, every weekend? Every, every year. Oh, every I year. know, miss. Only one time? <laughs> Come uh, on. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> sometimes it's difficult. Mm -hmm. More than when we are uh, adults or almost all the family is ah, yes. When your family is big too. Yes. Get that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Guys, what about the rest? Uh, well, if you like the mountain, I recommend you to go to the north of the country to Morazán or Torola uh, oh. and Perkin because it's so beautiful, because uh, there are many trees, many pines. Is a, uh, weather is uh, 
so fresh and is not too pop popular than uh, chalate or uh, la ruta de las flores. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, but morazán and perkin are yes. Are you they can hot? do many. No, no, it's so cool because oh. it's in the mountain. It's like the, how do you say frontier? Like the border. The yes, border. like the border with Honduras. Yes. Oh. It's oh. the high zone for uh, the high, no, la, la zona más alta. De yes, the, the high zone or the highest the high area. Zone. The highest area of Morazán. Oh. Cool. Yes, and there is so beautiful uh, fall. Fall is cascada, verdad? Waterfall. Waterfall. Waterfall, yes. Okay. There is a beautiful waterfall. Wow, so you said Torola, eh, Perkin, and Morazan. I yes. have never been to Perkin, and I have never been to, to Morazan, only one time, I think. But but it was dangerous. Ahora no sé, yeah. you know. No, it's not so dangerous. Oh. I think it's more dangerous in another touristic zone. Yes. Well, uh, now yeah. I don't know, but I went to Hola oh, Unión. Where did I go? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Uh, there it was. No, no, no. I went to to something de la frontera. Oh my God, mm. I forgot the, the name of the place, but but it was in Morazan and it was very dangerous. So I was like, no, I will not come I back did, here. I did my thesis degree about a place located wow. in Perkin. Wow. Um, yes. And so I have to travel a lot of time to that place. Super nice. And I think it's not dangerous. <laughs> That's why you know those places. Wow, really cool. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Sounds really nice. Guys, what about the next question? The next one, it says there, what is the craziest thing you have done? <laughs> and everybody is quiet. <laughs> You say you can something we can share. There is yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> because uh, there are many embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> that we can say. Oh no, something you can obviously share because I know you are in your house, you know, and other people are listening to you. So <laughs> something you can share. <laughs> Me? Yes, go ahead, Mauricio. Okay. Oh, uh, what? Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, when I was child, with my brothers, we go to swim in a river. Mm -hmm. And we love to jump to the bridge. Mm -hmm. To the bridge, to the river. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Uh, like tanks. Okay. Was it was the bridge super super high? Like four meters. Okay. And all your brothers survived, I believe. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. So you were reckless. Eran, you know, uh, how, how would you say child. that word in español? ¿Cómo se le llama? How would you call that person? Uh, arriesgado, supongo, ¿no? Yeah. Por but, mm, sí, como arriesgado, <laughs> probably. Like, ajá. Like, uh -huh. Hay otra palabra, como des, no, no es desmedido. I forgot the word in Spanish. But you were reckless. Okay, so you jump. Yes. Okay. Okay, super cool. Guys, hay algo que puedan compartir? <laughs> Is there anything you can share? Something soft. <laughs> Something soft. 
let's see. No, well, uh, when I was a child too, we escaped for the home, like, um, we all have like 10 years, eight for Okay. And we escaped from home uh, to play basketball in the, in the Parque Municipal. Oh, <laughs> you went to the park. Yeah. So you escape was, from your oh, house or from the school? Yeah. No, from for the house. It, we oh. are in Ataco and okay. we have access for and a place in the house is not um, so much uh, um, ¿cómo se dice? With, <laughs> uh, with a lot of security. Yes, yes, we just jump for the second floor to the street and we run to the <laughs> to the park. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Sounds all right. Sounds good. I guess everybody did it, right? Or we escaped uh -huh, to close places or we went to other places after the schools. I think everybody did it. That was like very common. All right, thank you for sharing that. Guys, that was really nice to listen to you. Uh, creo que solo no pude escuchar a Rubén, I believe, but guys, super bien, you know, um, me, me gustó mucho, <clears throat> sorry, lo que logré escuchar, eh, tienen un muy buen listening, very good listening, so, um, al momento de intentar contar historias, eh, so, utilizan muy bien, you know, los tenses, simple pass, super bien, that was really nice, a muy buen vocabulario, seguros, good job, okay, that Thank was really you. nice to hear, really yeah. good, really good pronunciation too, okay, so uh, I'm really glad, you know, because <laughs> um, you communicated your ideas easily. So cool. All right, guys. Vamos a regresar because of the time. It's about time that we leave. So give me one moment here and I'll see you there. <clears throat> Sorry. Creo que me falta alguien todavía. Give me one moment. No, everybody's back. Okay, guys, uh, that was a very nice practice. So, um, uh, and suddenly me di cuenta que en grupos hablan más, guys. So you participate more, les da menos pena. So I'm like happy to hear that. <laughs> that was like really cool. All right, guys, uh, look. Eh, ya terminamos, you know, so we are almost done. Solamente les tomo asistencia. I'm just going to go over attendance. Si me ayudan un momentito más con su camarita. Oh, thank you. Okay. Les voy a tomar también la foto, guys, del inicio de módulo. In, in case la quieran compartir, you know, in your, I don't know, WhatsApp, Facebook, or something that you are in intermediate too. Um, and yo les voy a dejar también actividades extra a partir del día de mañana. Primero, guys, solo necesito que me ayuden confirmando que todos tengan acceso a la plataforma. 
eh, que su plataforma corra bien, right? Comiencen a trabajar y desde mañana oh, les voy a preparar un par de actividades extra que vamos a intentar hacer every single day, right? Tal vez una sea de pronunciación un día, el siguiente de listening, el siguiente de lectura, and so forth, para que vayamos también um, obteniendo más vocabulario, you know, más listening, etc. So, solamente les tomo asistencia, denme un segundito, y me regalan confirmación, please. Give me confirmation that we are here. So, I got... Give me one second. There we go. Uh, Ana Mercedes is here. Yes, present. Thank you so much. Okay. Give me just a moment. This is super weird. Give me one second, sorry. And uh, I have... Oh, it's wrong. Sorry guys, give me one moment, please. So just let me get something fixed here. Okay. Eh, Andrea Vasquez, solo me regala confirmación, please. Here, teacher. Thank you, miss. What's wrong with this? Sorry, my computer is like, oh, Monday. <laughs> so it's kind of delayed. So poco. Um, frozen, give me one second. Eh, Belen Garcia. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Sorry, uh, about how you need the confirmation. Sorry, teacher. No, 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 that's all right. Just uh, solo que su voz uh, quede en la grabación. Está súper bien. That, and that sounds good. Y su camarita. Uh, Carlos Mario. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Delmi Gómez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Félix Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Francisco Nehemías. No recuerdo haber visto a Francisco. All right. Helen Creo Barraza. Que no entró ahora. Creo que vi a Helen por ahí, but I'm not sure. Imelda Medrano. Imelda se estaba por ahí hace un momento. Eh, Iris Cañas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you. José Arnoldo. José también estaba por ahí. Present. Thank you, Jose, Juan Ricardo. Thank you, thank you for the camera. Uh, Jose, Juan Ricardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenya Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenya Sanchez. Kenya was not here. Um, Maria Angelica. Present. Thank you, Maria Gabriela. She was not here. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. Reina Martinez. Rubén de Jesús. Present teacher. Mil gracias. And Judy Cuellar. Here teacher. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So thanks a lot. Gracias a todos por la asistencia. Super nice participation el día de ahora. Antes que nos vayamos okay. solamente. Hola, hola. You don't say my name. For Did I? Give me one second. You're right. Give me one moment here. Now it is so. Um, but I don't see here. I don't see your name here. Okay. Eh, lo voy a reportar, porque no lo veo acá, pero no sé si eh, es eh, que el sistema todavía sigue cargando, you know, but, but, thank you, 
I'm going to report it. Lo reporto el día de mañana para okay. que de hileras no. All right, guys. So, solamente entremos a la plataforma, please, y comencemos a trabajarla. Una cosita más, recordemos que tenemos eh, este plus de sesión one on one, donde podemos eh, revisar temas específicos. Um, normally, lo vamos a hacer eh, por... Eh, por, sí, por orden para que todos tengamos la misma oportunidad, right? En caso alguien no pueda quedarse los 10 minutitos sin un compromiso, tenga que retirarse, no hay problema, uh, let us know eh, para poder intercambiar con alguien más. So, el día de ahora, la primera persona que me aparece es Andrea. Um, Ana Mercedes, perdón. Uh, so, Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes está acá. Ok, teacher. Ok, el día de mañana tengo a Andrea, el día miércoles tengo a Belén, jueves tengo a Carlos y el día viernes tengo a Delmi. So, uh, si por alguna razón, guys, no pueden unirse o tienen un compromiso, let us know y cambiamos con alguien más y no pasa nada, right? Para que siempre tengamos esos 10 minutos y podamos participar. Guys, me ayuden con su camarita, solo les tomo la fotito y nos, para que ya se puedan ir a descansar. And, and smile. Uh, yeah, and a smile. Or pongan emojis if you want to. No problem. So you can have some emojis there. Uh, Arnoldo, Ruben, if you can activate your camera just a, a second here, that would be nice. I think Ruben is working. I think they are not there. So, okay. Thank you. Say cheese. <laughs> there you go. Okay, guys, ya se los comparto. Thank you so much, everybody. Nice meeting you and see you tomorrow. So, Mercedes, solamente me regalo un par de minutitos, please. Bye, everyone. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye. Good night, everybody. Ya lo bendiga a todos y a todas noches. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Already. So thank you, Ana, and, uh, and nice meeting you. Le voy a robar acá unos 10 minutitos para nuestra sesión eh, one on one, right? Okay. No problem. And uh, first, I, I would like to know um, because this is like session one, uh, I haven't had like the opportunity to listen to you a lot. Um, to know how you are doing with English, what are the things that you find the most difficult? So I, I would like to listen to your voice. So tell me a little bit of, uh, more about you. Uh, in my opinion, maybe vocabulary. Vocabulary is what you need. Sí, creo que general. Creo que ese es mi problema, no estoy muy empapada de vocabulario, honestamente. Uh -huh. Y pues desde ahí, si no tengo mucho vocabulario, creo que va a ser bien difícil que intente entrelazar palabras, ¿verdad? Mm, Oraciones. Yes, and no. Remember that al final la idea del inglés o de otro idioma es la comunicación. So, um, sí, el vocabulario es importante, pero sí. tampoco es que se va a memorizar 10,000 palabras, right? <risa> so, con lo poco que usted sabe, usted puede armar ideas también. So, cuénteme un poquito de eso en inglés. Try to tell me a little bit about your routine, a little bit about yesterday. Give me some information. For example, revisamos las preguntas que estaban ahora. Let's take a look at the questions okay. we had today. Uh, oh, perdón, esto no es. Give me some uh, personal information y podemos, you know, empezar desde ahí para uh, try to give, uh, like, try to, try to get, like, some ideas. Now, one moment. Let me just share this. And, okay, these are the ones. So, part of the questions we have are, for example, number two. Where have you traveled? So tell me about that. Uh, by the way, what do you prefer? You said Anna or Mercedes? No, es que en realidad me dicen Mercy. <laughs> oh, Mercy. No, 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 that's okay. That's uh -huh. okay then. All right. So tell me about that. Uh, honestly, no. But I would like mm -hmm. to ride a horse. Oh, the first one. Have you ever ridden an animal? Okay. Why? Why a horse? Uh, it is precious mm -hmm. 
son preciosos para mí siempre. Me han gustado yes, continue, cabello. continue, continue. Mm -hmm. intente, intente contarme todo esto en inglés. <laughs> Try to tell me all of that in English. Tanto como pueda, no worries. No se preocupe con el vocabulario, no se preocupe con el español. Solo intente encontrar algunas palabritas, you know, and, and try to give me some ideas. Mm -hmm. Ajá, it's precious. Is, is la fuerza que tiene. Ajá, oh, they are strong. Mm -hmm, strong. Y um, I like. Oh, okay, very nice. Um, what about number two? What about the second? Second question says, where have you traveled? So where have you traveled? I visit to Italy. Okay. Did you camp? Come? Did you camp? A no. Did you camp no. in Italy? No, solo visit uh, only day. Solamente mm -hmm. un día. Okay. Eh, Only one day. Okay. Sí. Y we, is very helado. ¿Cómo se dice? Cold. Muy... It is very cold. 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 De helado. Cold. 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 Yes. It is very cold. Okay. It's, it's very cold. Do, do you like el pital? Cold. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Do you like el pital? Why? Why? Why do you like it? What activities can you do at el pital? Eh, en realidad, este, fuimos pero con un club, club de motorcycle. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo convivir, nada más. Uh, okay. Do you ride a motorcycle? Do you ride? Do you ride a motorcycle? No. <laughs> you were the copilot. Ah, uh, correcto. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, okay. But but what activities did you do at El Pital with the group of motorcycles? Uh, dynamic in group. Okay. Play salsa. Okay. And I listen music. Ah, oh, okay. What kind of music do you listen to? Rock? Heavy metal? De todo un poco. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds really nice. But you went in motorcycle to El Pital. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. That's difficult. Very tired. Terminé cansada de no. las piernas. Duele muchísimo oh. y la verdad que en, en motorcycle no vuelvo ahí. <laughs> no, me. No, definitely not. Las piernitas ya tiemblan, you know, because it's horrible. Sí, horrible, oh. pero igual. Pero that was experiencia good, de experimentar. But that was a good experience. Okay, okay, sounds really good. Um, all right, so, uh, sounds really good. Mercedes, uh, you know, uh, sí, sí comunica bastante bien gramaticalmente algunas ideas. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con pasados y sí vamos a trabajar un poquito con adjetivos sobre todo, right? Por ejemplo, okay. ¿cómo puedo describir los caballos? Porque me gustan, uh, porque me gusta el pital, right? Algunas palabritas que sean mm -hmm. necesarias. Vamos a comenzar a escribirlos y luego vamos a trabajar con pronunciación. Así que le voy a dejar la primera tarea para el día de mañana, pero no es difícil. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Um, for tomorrow, lo que quiero que haga, Miss, es que me describa el pital, right? Um, piense por qué el pital es bonito o por qué el pital es feo, cualquiera de las dos. Si le gusta o si no le gusta, uh, puede ser como, I like el pital because it is, it is cold. There are flowers, there are animals. So, toda la descripción que pueda, o lo, o lo puesto, right? No me gusta el pital. I don't like el pital mm -hmm. because it is too cold. It is far away. 
in motorcycle, it is difficult to get. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. ajá, so, piense como en las razones por las que le gustó o no le gustó. Intente escribírmelo, right? Puede usar su diccionario, usa el traductor. Siempre cuando encuentre palabras nuevas, busque la pronunciación de la palabra nueva. And uh, eh, tómele una captura cuando ya lo tenga el día de mañana, right? Um, y me lo envíe para revisárselo y luego vamos con el siguiente paso que sería la pronunciación, all right? Okay. And so, vamos a ir trabajando el vocabulario little by little, eh, agregándole más, poniéndole más, you know, and, uh, y poquito a poquito va a ver que el, el vocabulario se va construyendo, así que no se preocupe. Eh, claro, si usted puede leer por su parte, escuchar música, buscar la letra de esas canciones, eso le va a dar mucho más vocabulario también. So, okay. No es que se vaya a poner a memorizar 200 palabras, right? No tiene que ser aburrido. <laughs> All right. Sí, gracias, Miss. Okay, gracias. Nice to meet you. And nos vemos nice mañana. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.